everyone in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a homemade registration board so I bought a board from of Coraplast from the supply shop it measures 24 by 36 inches that should cover any board that you need and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it up here and make a straight edge you should do this with a um, with a t-square but I don't have one so I'm going to just mark this at 12 come all the way down mark it at 12 okay so what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and draw that line I'm going to actually put it on this side so I can see what I'm doing. This is basically going to be my center line. So I've drawn the center line. Got to start a place to just going to do a straight line across here. And actually, I'm put my table light on because you can use the the um, levels on the coroplast to see to make your straight line. Draw a straight line. Now this is going to be the top of my plate and on this plate I want to come down about six inches from <clears throat> this area here. So I'm going to come and put this in. Let's move this up so I can. So I'm just going to mark a line at six inches. And again, you can use this line on the coroplast to make sure that you get these measurements straight. This is going to be my artwork line where my artwork is going to start. So, say for example, if I'm printing this design, this is where my art's going to start. Um, if you're printing, and basically that's because, let me grab an empty screen. This is an old screen, but you see here, if I was to sit this screen on here, it kind of shows you where you would start pushing. So you've got this enough area here to start pushing on this screen. So we've done that. <clears throat> um, depending on the size screens that you're going to use, then you would have to do around the edges. So you could do, if it's a 24 inch screen, we could go in here, let's see, this is 24, so if it's a 20 inch screen, we need to do it 20, 20 inches wide. So it go in from, I'm gonna come from here and do this. I'm at my 12 inches. So just mark this off at two inches here. And you could mark it off at two inches here. You could lay this screen, your screen on here and do marks all the way across, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do, because I may have a wider screen, so if I'm using a 20 by 24 inch screen, what I'm actually going to do for my board 
is I'm going to come down 20 inches from this top mark. Um, well, 24 inches. Let's say I've got a 24 inch board. I'm going to mark a spot at 24. Because I use 20 by 24 inches on my manual press, and then on the new automatic, we're going to be using the uh, 21, the 23 by 31 inches. So I'm going to actually do a 31 inch line here for a 31 inch board. So just going to square this off, top and bottom. Square 31 inches off top and bottom. You can add to this board, add places for pocket prints and things like that. Okay. So now, what I would do. So I want to do a 30 inch board, I do a 30 inch board. If I want to do a 24 inch board, I do a 24 inch board. But I'm going to go back to where we mark it off for, for my 20 inch board right now. And I'm going to draw a line. So now this board should fit my 20, 20, 20 inch screen should fit perfectly between these two squares and I don't know if you can see or not but this is the pretty much the setting here should go around um, and you could kind of see it where it would set. Now, if you're like me, you may want to add some type of stump to where when you put this board in, every time it's going to mark the push up against the same place. In that case, what you could do is if you're going for the print line and your print line is going to be here, you could do something with this and you could glue that down with some adhesive on the board. I'm sorry, not there, but here. You could glue this to where it would stop here every time when you put that, that screen on there. And ideally, you could do it on another side. Let's say you put a board here. And you would know every time that that screen's gonna be laid in the same place, in the same exact position on each one. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm going to use this glue that's for, actually for a screen, to do it with. I'm just going to take a little bit. Uh, let's see here. I've never opened this before, so I need to open the bottle. Okay, so we're going to put a little glue on the stick, and you've got to make sure that you put this 
exactly on that line and that you're straight. Again, I'm using the glue um, that we use for our screens. It's very, very sticky, so you want to be careful. I'm going to do one more stick. And I'm just not leaning over my uh, board while I'm doing it. So I'm going to flip it. And I'll line it up very carefully and put it there. Okay. This has worked for me for years. Now, this glue is very, very strong. God, it'll get you high. So we're going to let that go ahead and let that glue sit for a little while. We could put a pocket print area here. Or you could label this, you know, print line. So if, let's just say, for example, if we're starting our print here, when you're outside and you, or when you're in your office and you're adjusting your palettes, so the palette would actually come up here, which would I always start three inches, about three inches down on my design. Sometimes I do four inches. It depends on the shirt. But we're going to just put a little dot here. And I'm going to make a little line here so that I can remember that this is where my shirt my neckline starts and so that I remember that that's my neckline I'm going to put neckline now you could go in and write three inches do a two inch next line whatever you know you want to do uh, some people will go in and do a little curve and put your and put your neckline there. If you want to do that, you could just, you know, do something like that, which will kind of give you I'll come up like this. Give you a little neckline, a little visual of it. I'm going to go back and clean that up a little later. That'll give you a visual and you'll know, you know, that, hey, okay, this is my neckline. This is where my print's going to start. And then you can come down. Um, if you're working, depending on the size palette that you're working on, um, you would also, this is also where your palette would be so you could go on. Actually, I'm going to go on and I'm going to extend that so that we can do our palette size. If you're working, let's say if you're working on a, oh, a standard palette, 15 inches, you may come out here about seven and a half inches. I'm going to go seven and a half inches on this other side. Let's say we're working with a 15 inch palette. This would actually be where your palette would start. Let's come down a, a 15 by 15 inch palette. Would be here to about here and then of course you would mark that across that way you would know where your design what area you do have to work within your design uh, but you also know that this is for a 20 24 inch screen and down here in this corner I'm just going to put 24 inch screen line and I'm going to put 
31 inch screen line. So that way I know my screens. Um, now if you come from here to here, you're going to be at 20 inches. If you, if you are working with the uh, 23 inch screen, the screen would come off a little bit, but that would be fine. You can just put a little label here from side to side saying, you know, 20, uh, 20 inch screen if you want it to, but that's basically it. Let's see. Well, there's one more thing I can do. We can do the pocket. And basically, I start my pocket at the same place that I would start my printing. So if I was going to do a pocket and this is a 24 inch, I would probably come oh, out about four, four inches or so out from... my neckline which let's say we're guesstimating the necklines there so I've got a pretty wide neckline there but I'm gonna come out for this video I'm only going to do three and a half inches so if I went three and a half inches of course you know a pocket that mean I would go from three and a half to seven and a half or you can go from four to eight you just want to make sure that you don't print too far out and then, so that's a four inch print line here, and I'm actually gonna just double it. Pocket line, I mean. So that's your four inch pocket line. And then you could come down four inches. So four inches would be this line right here that we would touch onto. And go here. And of course, like I said, it would be better if you used a T-square to do this. Well, you would get it exact. Especially on this pocket area. Oh, and I put that on the wrong place. I'm just going to come across. You don't want your pockets prints to be any larger than four by four. But that's about that's it. I'm, um, you just go ahead and just square this up, and this is your area for your pocket print. Thanks for watching.